Hello everyone, how are you guys? Uh, we are in the second lecture of statistic for all series. <clears throat> in the first lecture, we had the introduction and we discussed what is data, types of data, qualitative versus quantitative data, cross section versus time series data, uh, what do we mean by elements, variables, observations. So we discussed some ba various basic concepts uh, in the first lecture, right? Today we'll move onward and we'll define statistic and we'll try to differentiate between descriptive and inferential statistics, so two major branches of statistics. So hope you guys are ready. You have you would have pen and notebooks with yourself so, so that you can write down the extra explanation or extra points with yourself. So Koka Manzur is here. Uh, so we are going to have a great uh, time now, right? So let's begin. What we are going to cover, uh, we are going to cover what is the uh, statistic, the definition of statistic, and then descriptive versus inferential statistic and application of statistics. So these are the four things that we will be uh, covering in this video. Okay, so uh, pause the video here and uh, just uh, try to define what do you think what statistic is so pause it and first define it right okay I hope you got some uh, definition here let's see how we can define statistic a statistic is a science that concerned with developing and studying methods for collecting analyzing interpreting and presenting empirical data now, what does it mean it means that it's that subject in which we are all busy in doing what in doing in collecting data in analyzing data interpreting data and presenting the data empirical means that we are collecting uh, from the market from the field from the population right the evidential data right so what is statistic all about it's a subject it's a science in which we study how we can collect the data then we can tabulate it, classify it, summarize it, and then we analyze it so that we can know what that data means and then we interpret it, right? So all the mechanics uh, that are related to these things will be discussed in this chapter. So we say it's, these, it's a group of methods that is used to collection of the data, for analysis of the data, for presentation of the data, and interpretation of the data. For what? In order to make some better decisions. Right. So if we uh, sometimes uh, if we use the word statistic as an in is in a, is a singular. So statistic simply means the formula that will be used in the uh, uh, for for any test. Right. But here we are using the word statistics. Sometimes statistics only refer to the numbers figures like we normally say uh, some uh, what are the statistics of uh, like cricket match or football match or whatever. Right. But here it is we are discussing and defining it as a subject. Now there are two branches as we discussed earlier. There are various branches in fact, but we are categorizing them into two like uh, descriptive versus inferential statistic. As the name clarifies descriptive, the, that branch of the state which just describe the data. So how we describe? When we collect the data, so we, we convert into the tables, the data into tables, right? Like male and females, like uh, you can say uh, Americans and versus non-Americans, right? Like uh, similarly, we can have age-wise tabulation, we can have weight-wise tabulation, we can have marks, different marks, so we can tabulate it. Like you might have A grade student, B grade student, C grade student, right? So similarly, as your your uh, transcript is and the best example of it, data that is presented, tabulated form, right? Similarly, graphical, sometimes we use graphs to express the data and numerical methods to summarize it. So all those things in which we just collect and present it in graphs, in charts, in, uh, in table form. That portion of the states is called as descriptive. Means that stat statistics are described. And for it, we may use various uh, statistical tools like average arithmetic means, medians, mode, standard deviation, and frequency distribution. Don't worry, you will study all these things in upcoming lectures one by one in detail. But means these are the things that are used. Then another thing is statistical inference means the or inferential statistic. In inferential statistic, what we do basically, you see in descriptive statistic, we just describe the stats. We just describe the numbers, the results, right? But the descriptive statistics uh, is unable to tell us 
that what is the meaning of that data how to uh, how to use it for future purposes right so uh, this is the role of inferential statistics what inferential statistics means means as the name clarifies inference we infer we take some we make some hypothesis based on the collected data means whatever data we have collected we make now hypothesis based on it like we have uh, students and we got their marks uh, let's suppose we collected the data from the 50 students and we have taken their marks and we uh, let's suppose it's a statistic class and a teacher taught them and then the teacher is changed and now we have another teacher and we collected the marks now we have the data but we don't know what does it mean so that is inference that is the portion of portion of descriptive status and what inferential statistic does it will help you to hypothesize their data we make estimations and hypothesis based on that like does the new teacher has a impact or a significant impact on the scores of the students now here comes the inferential statistic right so you see like there exists significant relationship between smoking and cancer like you now you want to see whether smoking causes cancer or not or is there any relationship so to study this we use inferential states so let's conclude what we said in descriptive statistic we just describe the figures by graphs and charts and means and medians and standard deviations and inferential statistic based on that data then we make hypothesis we make estimation we make future predictions and we are trying to make decisions on based on that data so inferential statistic help us for making a better decision for forecasting for prediction for future uh, you can say um, decisions right so this this is the difference between the two now what is application of statistic statistic is perhaps i would say one of the a most important subject in today's world because it has application all over the world in all subjects it has application in medical sciences it has application in uh, natural sciences it has an application in social sciences everywhere even the linguistics uh, uh, in linguistic the student has to study statistic for the research purpose so now we have we are living in a world where everything is being researched so wherever there is a research there will be use of statistic so since here it's a business statistic class so we'll focus specifically the what is the uses of stats in the business right so in accounting you see we have various types of accounting so we need to do account statistical sampling procedures when conducting audits so when sometimes audit is conducted uh, in the entire organization but sometimes we have sample audit side right? similarly in finance we have to make decisions earning per share and we take some uh, financial uh, indicators and based on that we make the decision so that is again here we are using the sampling we use graphs and charts and tabular form data data is in tabular form uh, so these bars and charts and graphs help us uh, and tables help us in understanding the financial figures so all these are the tools of statistic right and marketing we are having various types of uh, data in marketing research we collect the uh, the preferences of this um, the clients and the customer that what people prefer how many males and how many females we get the data about the demographics right so all the data that we collect so the, again we use the statistic we use primary data and secondary data and qualitative data and the quantitative data that we discussed earlier in the first lecture right so all we take help from statistic so the statistic provide the help to the marketers that they analyze the data they tabulate the data so that and give it a meaning a sense so that marketing managers can make a better decision whether we should increase the price or decrease the price or we how we should market our product right similarly production you know that in production what we do we transform input to output so how much raw material quality control process efficiencies cost cutting cost so all these things are related to numbers right so we may use charts and graphs here again to represent that uh, our new machine that is implement, uh, implanted so whether they have uh, the production process is increased or decreased whether it increased the efficiency or decreased the efficiency so here we need numbers again the data is used right economics uh, we will say statistic is a kind of an integral part of economics you cannot get masters in economics without stats right so stat is a very uh, important providing an important role specifically you if you study economics so there you study the subject by the name of econometrics econometrics is purely based on stats right so 
in economics we make policies for the future like monetary policy fiscal policy economic planning so for all that future planning and policies we are using different statistical tools different statistical techniques for forecasting and future planning so uh, there's uh, we have just explained few points you can add even more to it it has widespread application all across so thank you very much i hope the concept is clear if there is any question confusion you can see my facebook page email address as well as the youtube link so you can ask the question related to that topic thank you and stay blessed